everyone, my name is Matt. Welcome back to our home renovation remodel project thing. Today, December 1st, it's kind of warm today, mid 40s. So, perfect day for some roofing. Woofing. Wo woofing. Oh, woofing. <laughs> so we're back here on the little front edition. We're gonna put a roof on top of there, cover up that OSB. So if you ever back from uh, the last video on this, we left the fascia running long so we could return it back later. So that's what uh, Donovan's starting on this morning is getting a return on there. <laughs> Are we having fun yet? Why don't you grab the gun and come on up? We definitely don't want to be uh, close on this plank together. I've been on this pretty plank before. I'm good. Okay. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Looks nice. We'll shed some water. <laughs> <laughs> Not all of it, just some. All right, lunchtime. Do you have anything you want to say about ice and water shield? This sucks. <laughs> Besides that, this ice and water shield, I Is that stick. Different brand next time. Yeah, it's supposed to supposed to be sticky, so this is an adhesive backing, it which is, is supposed sticking. to stick down to whatever you put it on, more like that membrane stuff. Yep. But that clearly didn't work in this case working. so this is basically like a uh i guess like a fail safe underneath the shingle system so if they do leak or you have ice dams which would typically be towards the uh the fascia this will have to protect that does that sound yep 
Is it, right? If you have don't have it, if you don't have ventilation and insulation correct, then what will happen? The water it'll melt on top, and then as soon as it hits the the, the cold spot, the cold spot, then it'll freeze. So like the walls right here, so it'll freeze there, and then it'll start building up and building up. About you know, I had one house where actually it was kind of like along here, and it was badly done, mm -hmm. but we had. It, it built up high enough that we had 12 inches of standing water. That's a lot. It was it was going over top of everything. It was going over, over the siding. That's yeah. It was pouring through the house. Around here, I guess, do you usually have one row or two row on most roofs? Uh, at least, usually two. The full four, was it four feet ish? Six. These are uh, these are uh, three foot rolls. So, so I you, always, you, I always you do would two. normally go up six feet on a roof. Yeah. Okay. It's it's so many inches past. It depends on the slope, so it's how far back from the I guess from the how, wall. how big your overhangs are too, right? Because overhang about, and where, yeah. where that where that warm zone stops, you want to you want to be back far enough. And, from I, and that. I just don't remember what the, the distance is right now. Um, I think it's it's, this is small enough. We just do I mean, do it nice and water. Do the whole thing. Just yeah. Do the whole thing. So, so what I'm saying, like on a normal roof, you just have your two rows, and then you would just have tar paper. Yeah, tar instance. paper. Or now they're actually using a lot of synthetic stuff where they're even like tar paper's not even being used hardly anymore. That's cool. They're using this uh, kind of synthetic underlayment. Oh, because yeah, this is almost like a really. It feels like a thick tar paper, like a thirty or forty pound. Yeah, this is pretty he heavy, and that's got the feel? sticky back on it. Yeah. In theory, what's going to happen is once this the sun comes back onto it, it will <laughs> it'll melt it and actually stick it down. Well, once we get past that melting point of the adhesive, I guess. Yep. In theory. That is a theory on it. So we are going to go and uh, get some shingles. So we're going to try and match which on which, what is on the house now, which is... Or the garage, or the or the kit. Oh uh, yeah, so the, the three structures here have different shingles. So on the house we have this kind of grayish brown architectural style shingle. And then on the barn we have a, like a straight up gray architectural shingle. And then on the the, uh, or like a combo, like a light and dark gray combo architectural. And then on the shed, we got a three tab shingle, which is all gray. So I think we're trying to find something that matches this. <laughs> we'll see. Step up. I'm gonna step down. Oh, you'll. I'll get it. Go ahead. I'll get it. I'll get it. Hey, you almost got it all the way down to the first level. Down to ground level. Well, somebody filled in those boards. <laughs> I'll hold this down. Yeah, this is gonna fall off. Yep. I, it'll be fine. It'll just let it go. I have to probably turn the air compressor on yeah. or plug it back in or whatever. Yep. I'm on it. There is our starter strip, that's the first port which goes underneath 
Yeah, the first layer of shingles on this side since we're coming up into a wall. We had a kick out flashing here so that as the water's coming down along here, it comes away from the wall and can run down the wall and rot that out. These are the shingles we kicked out from the wall and hopefully they, they look like they're pretty close. They're pretty damn close. All right. I know I have my work boots on, so I'm good to go. And now as we go up, we'll do a step flashing on every course. So that gives us some flashes where the shingles meet that wall. Here's what a roll of uh, our coil of nails looks like. One in that gun.
precision applicator. <laughs> Ow. Oh, she okay? Yeah. You didn't, you, didn't, you didn't cut your scalp, did you? Not this time. Oh, great. Later. Ah, uh, yeah. At least you have a nice workbench. I do. <laughs> it's adjustable. <laughs> <laughs> Ten years ago, I said I was done with roofs. <laughs> Not last week. <laughs> the things you do for me. Dude. <laughs> you don't know. You likey? It looks nice. Actually, it does look pretty nice. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, you got it right in there. I think that one's upside down. Don't mind me. <laughs> it is. Seems like it keeps getting higher. <laughs> further away every, every time. Every time further. it gets a little further away. <laughs> every time. <laughs> you are far more limber than I am.
up here, up here a little bit. Well, I, I can get it out. Okay, let's just do it right there. All right, so that's where we're gonna leave this thing for out of the winter, probably. Unless something like that. Something like that. Just enough to get us through the winter and then the spring, or whenever we get back out here, we'll properly do the sides here, and then we'll have a piece of flashing that runs all the way along the bottom of that window up there and finishes that last course. But at least we have some shingles on the roof, so when it snows, <laughs> it won't be snowing on OSB. So one more little thing knocked off the list. Just nice to have things a little more buttoned up before uh, the actual winter starts. So uh, what we got to come up next? I think we're going to be doing some uh, in-floor heat or HVAC next, probably. I think it's the next subs that are scheduled to be around. So look for that maybe in the next one. Again, since we're on this little break thing, I don't know what's going to be happening. So we're just rolling with it. <laughs> So that's going to do it for this one. Thank you as always for watching. I greatly appreciate it. If you have any questions or comments on the home edition or model thing or anything back in the shop, please feel free to leave me a comment. As always, I'd be happy to answer any questions you might have. And until next time, <laughs> happy woodworking.